On August 3rd, 2024, the legendary Shelian Fraser Price was unable to compete in her semifinals as well as the finals for the women's 100 meters that was held in Paris. I was so disappointed in this. Like, I literally woke up at about 2 o'clock in the morning to ensure that I would be able to see Shelian Fraser and Shakari go head to head. You know, when I went on Twitter and I heard about what had happened, it really disheartened me and I realized that Jamaica is not respected the way we believe that Jamaica is respected. No, I understand that Shakari, she was also excluded from the warm-up area. However, they could have given leeway to both Shelly and Fraser and Shakari Richardson to enter the track. How is it that you as a Olympic body, you are going to change the rules as it relates to athletes entering the train up area the night before and Team Jamaica was not made aware of the situation. It has come to my attention that Shellyan, she had her own private accommodation as well as Shakari and that is why they were not able to come inside of the warm up trap because they weren't staying at the Olympic Village and they were being escorted by the transportation provider by the Olympics however this rule whereby you had to travel on the Olympic bus it should have been in place from the beginning of the Olympics I don't know why but it's like from the Olympics started everything has been going you know a wire for Jamaica I love Jamaica I understand that we cannot win at every event and you know there are other athletes who are coming and bringing their a game but this uh, this olympics it just feels weird we have had uh, mishaps in the 100 meters as it relates to not only shelly but sharika sharika dropping out and then subsequently dropping out of the 200 meters then we have oblique and kishane kishane was my medal favorite for the gold however he came second and he got a silver and i'm so proud of him congratulations to noah lyles but oblique now saying that he has a growing problem and he is injured coming last in a and uh, you also have various complaints and various issues that are raised to our athletes it is just sad the amount of disappointment that we have been experiencing from the olympics has started however i am still team jamaica i love my country i have no other else country to run to but i believe that shelly and fraser right she was robbed of the opportunity to go out with a bang I 100% believe that Shellyan would have placed the mere fact that her time in the heat was 10.92 seconds and Melissa Jefferson's time, you know, the third place winner, her time was 10.92 seconds. So arguably you could say that she would have run that or even faster to, to finish and to medal on the podium. And so um, the information that is being circulated out there is that she got injured while she was warming up and, you know, she had to rush the warm-up because she was barred from entering um the the the, the warm-up track due to the fact that she was not with the olympic village and so at 37 years of age she isn't 27 she isn't 25 she isn't 20 she she has a more mature body and so it's gonna take a while for her to warm up she cannot rush a warm-up and because of the implications that the olympic committee had with you know um changing the rules and everything that had an effect on her not being able to warm up properly which therefore had act up you know her injuries and she became injured i was really disheartened i believe that shelly and deserves justice you know i have seen the reactions all over twitter all over youtube all over social media and i am so glad that the world is shocked and angry at the injustice that was done as well as to not only shelly but just the athletes in general because you know shakari was locked out as well um i hope that something you know positive can come out of this for shelly this does not take away from her status as one of if not the greatest 100 meter female sprinter i should i even say sprinter in general as she has accumulated over 24 medals from her global championships she is in the rank of 
Usain Bolt and Alison Felix and I am I am so honored to have her running for our country I hope that Jamaica can do something you know the Jamaican government can do something special for her in her honor because you know she didn't get her heart's desire as it relates to competing in the 100 meters that being said I want to congratulate Julian Alfred from St. Lucia. Congratulations for winning. Thank you for bringing home the medals to the Caribbean. I saw on the internet where they said that Julian was a past student of St. Catherine High School and she also came on TVG and she said thank you Jamaica for being a part of her process and that is something that I'm truly happy for that even though we did not have a winner from Jamaica winning the, the finals we still had a Caribbean champion and I am so so grateful for that and she had the Jamaican touch you know she participated in champs and was also um, a past student of the St. Catherine High School and for that I am truly grateful that we can keep this medal in the Caribbean. Shelly we love you Julian we love you all the best for these two wonderful ladies in the future as well as the other women who competed in the finals god bless you all let me know your comments let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below don't forget to like comment and subscribe do you think that shelly and fraser price was robbed do you think she would have medal do you think that she is one of the greatest sprinters of all time let me know below and i'll see you in the next video